Okay, welcome back to the portion of the program for Customer Lightning Talks, where we chat with Armistice customers for a rapid fire five minute session on their CISO perspectives and insights into cybersecurity. First up is Tim Everson, CISO of Kalahari Resorts and Conventions. Let's get it going. Hi, Tim, welcome to theCUBE and Armist program, managing risk across your extended surface area. Thanks for having me, appreciate it. So let's go, let's get going. So unified visibility across the extended asset service is key. You can't secure what you can't see. Tell me about what you're able to centralize your views on network assets and what is Armist doing from an impact standpoint that's had on your business? Sure, so traditionally, basically, uh, you know, you have all your various, your various uh, management platforms, your Cisco platforms, your SIMs, your, your wireless platforms, all of the different pieces, and you've got all this disparate data out there and you've got to chase all of this data through all these different tools. Uh, Armis is fantastic and was really, you know, point blank drop in place for us as far as getting access to all of that data all in one place and giving us visibility into everything. Uh, basically open the doors, letting us see our customer wireless traffic, our internal traffic, our PCI traffic, because we deal with credit cards, HIPAA, compliance, all this traffic, all these different places, all into one. All right, next up, vulnerability management is a big topic across all assets, not just IT devices. The gaps are there. Uh, in the current vulnerability management programs. How has Armist vulnerability management made things better for your business? And what can you see now that you couldn't see before? So Armist gives me better visibility of the network side of these vulnerabilities. You know, you, you have your Nessus vulnerability scanners, the things that look at machines, look at configurations and, and hard facts. Nessus gives you all those. But when you turn to Armist, Armist looks at the network perspective, takes all that traffic that it's seeing on the network and gives you the network side of these vulnerabilities. So you can see if something's trying to talk out to a specific port or to a specific host on the internet. And Armist consolidates all that and gives you trusted sources of information to, to validate where those are coming from. You know, when you take into account all the criticality of the different kinds of assets involved in a business operation and they're becoming more wider, especially with edge and other, other areas, how has the security workload changed? The security workload has increased dramatically, uh, especially in hospitality. Um, in our case, we have, you know, not only do we have hotel rooms and, and visitors and our guests, we also have a convention center that we deal with. We have water parks and, and fun things for people to do, you know, families and, and businesses alike. And so when you add all those things up and you add the wireless and you add the network and, you know, the audio video and all these different pieces that come into play with all of those things in hospitality and you add our convention centers on top of it, uh, the footprints just expanded enormously in the past few years. You know, when you have a digital transformation and a use case like yours, it's very diverse. You need a robust network. You need a robust environment uh, to implement SaaS solutions. No ages to deploy, no updates needed. You got to be, gotta be in, in line with that to, to execute and scale. How easy was Armist to implement, ease of use, the simplicity, the plug and play? In other words, how quickly do you achieve this time to value? Oh goodness, we did a we did a proof of concept uh, about three months ago and one of our resort locations, we dropped in an Armist appliance and literally within the first couple hours of the appliance being on the network, we had data on 30 to 40,000 devices that were touching our network. Uh, very quick and easy, very drop and plug and play and moving from the you know the POC to production, same deal. We, we dropped in these appliances in each site. Uh, now we're seeing over 180,000 devices touching our networks within a given week. Armas has this global asset knowledge base, it's crowdsourced and asset intelligent engine. It's a game changer. It tracks managed, unmanaged IOT devices. Um, were you shocked when you discovered how many assets they were able to discover uh, and what impact did that have for you? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, not only do we have the devices that, you know, that we have, but you know, we have guests that bring things on site all the time, Roku TVs and players and Amazon Fire Sticks and all these different things that are touching our network and seeing those in real time and seeing how much traffic they're using. You know, we can see utilization. We can see, you know, exactly what's being brought on. We can see vehicles in our parking lot that have access points turned on. I mean, it's just amazing how much data this opened our eyes to that, you know, you know, it's there, but you don't ever see it is bring your own equipment to the resort so you can watch all your Netflix, HDMI cable. Everyone's doing it now. I mean, this is the new user behavior. Uh, great insight. Anything more you'd want to say about Armis for the folks watching? I would say the key is they're very easy to work with. Uh, the team at Armis has worked very closely with me to get the integrations that we've that we've put in place. You know, with with our networking equipment, with our wireless, with with different pieces of things, and they're working directly with me to help integrate some other things that we've asked them to do that aren't there already. Their team is very open. They listen. Uh, they take everything that we have to say as a customer to heart, and and they really put a lot of effort into making it happen. 
All right, Tim, well, thanks for your time. I'm John Furrier with theCUBE, the leader in enterprise tech coverage. Up next in this lightning talk session is Brian Gilligan, manager of security and operations at Brookfield Properties. Thanks for watching. Thank you.